Most of the time, soup way sweet. No be money killer more. Now to know the correct and the right ingredients to use for that particular soup. Now in killer. Can you see how this obono soup is bubbling? Sit back, relax and enjoy while I show you how to make this correct obono soup that you will not stop making after trying out this recipe. But first, let me introduce you to the chairman of the occasion, the ingredients. <laughs> so you will need obono. As usual, I'll leave the list of everything I'm using in the description box, so do well to check it out. You will need cow skin, also known as pomo. You will need shaki and beef. Now, the best part of beef I like to use for obono soup is called tozo. But since I came here, I've not seen tozo. I don't know if the cow here don't have tozo. So the second best part I like to use is the ribs. So we're using the ribs for this. You will also need dawa dawa or ogiri ope. I'll show you what to do to this in a bit. You will need palm oil, you will need salt, you will need onions. I've chopped it up already. You will also need ground crayfish and two seasoning cubes or even one self. We have to we want to give the ogiri ope opportunity to shine, you know. So we're using just two seasoning cubes for this recipe. For the fish, you will need one catfish and one smoked mackerel fish your mackerel fish inside of bono soup equals to heaven period <laughs> so for the vegetable i'll say use pumpkin leaf but because i cannot find pumpkin leaf where i live the best alternative i like to use for any recipe that calls for pumpkin leaf is kale so i'm using kale for this recipe so the first thing you're going to do is to cook the meat now I'm going to go ahead and add in the beef, the shaki and the pomo all at once because they have the same cooking time. None of them were tough. The, the pomo was already pre-cooked, the shaki was not hard, the beef was also not hard. But if any of your protein is hard, I'll say you should start cooking that one first, then follow up with the rest of the meat, if you get what I mean. So now you're going to add in the chopped onions and the two seasoning cubes. Stir it around, cover it and let it cook in its own juice for about 10 to 15 minutes. That way, the meat have time to absorb all the ingredients and it's tasty on its own. Even when the meat is inside the soup, it has its own taste. It's not just laying there bottle as if nothing is happening. So yeah, while that is cooking, I'll go ahead and wash the catfish. First of all, I'll um, soak it with very hot water and salt. You don't want sand in your soup. This water, I forget it's from the tap, it can make a bar. So I'll let it sit for about 5 minutes while I wash the smoked mackerel fish. I have a video on how to make this smoked mackerel fish. The link will be in the description box. So I'll go ahead and take out the head. I don't put the head. And then I'll open it up and bring out the bone. Oh my goodness. Yo, this bone, there's something they put inside that they did not tell us. It's too sweet though. <laughs> so um, I'll take out all the tiny, tiny bones, cut it in half so, so it's not chunky inside the soup. You can also leave it whole if you want, but cut it in half and set that aside. Once you're done, set it aside and then move over to the catfish. The catfish must have softened up a little bit now. It has been sitting in the hot water for five minutes. Add cold water to make it tolerable. Then wash it and you know remove all the nyama nyama from the head. I don't like to throw away the head. There's a lot of flavor packed in this catfish head. So what I do is I take a brush and just brush it off, wash the back and everywhere. Just wash it, take out the bones and that's it. So once I'm done with the fish, everything is nice and clean. I'll put it into the same bowl where I have the smoked mackerel fish. And yeah, I'll, at this point, I'll go back and check the meat. You can see all the juice that came out from the meat, like on its own. At this point, no water was added. So at this point, I added water to cook the meat until it is 80% cooked before I now come and quarter the milieu fish. <laughs> so I'll let it cook until it is 80% cooked. While that is cooking, I'll go ahead and roast the dawa dawa. You all, this is the thing that is inside the matter. This roasting of dawa dawa. If you roast your dawa dawa before using it to cook up bono soup, the aroma that fills your kitchen is just heavenly, honestly. So keep turning it around until it has browned just like this. Then you take it off, 
the stove but do it on very low heat because of fire service <laughs> so once you're done you're going to go ahead and pound the ogiri okwe with your pepper and crayfish if you're not using ground crayfish pound your crayfish at this point just pound everything together and if you have cameroon pepper it's even best to use cameroon pepper for this set that aside once you're done wash and slice the vegetables at this point i'm just getting everything i need to cook ready so that once everything is set it's just no favor ugly favor oh yeah <laughs> so yeah we're almost done i'll slice it once i'm done i'll set that aside so now back to the meat this meat is 80 percent cooked at this point i'm going to quad the milio i'm going to add water for the soup that's what that means. So I'll add water to cook the soup. Now the water you should use depends on the quantity of obono soup you're making or depends on the quantity of obono you're using for the soup. But if you check the description box, I'll leave the exact measurement I used for this soup so you can use that. So next I'm going to add in the washed fish so that everything can start, you know, marrying each other inside that milieu fee. Next you're going to add palm oil inside your obono. Stir it around and then gently place it inside that pot of soup so it can dissolve. There are other ways you can also dissolve this, but this is how I do mine. One thing to keep in mind before you place the bowl inside the pot of soup is to make sure that the water in the pot is not, you know, so high up there that when you place the bowl in it, it boils over when it boils, if you understand what I mean. After about 10 minutes, you will see that the obono have dissolved completely, yeah. Carefully take it out from the pot. Next, you're going to add in the pounded dawa dawa and pepper, the grounded crayfish, everything you need to add, add it right now. Stir and taste for salt. I added a bit more salt and then I'm going to let this boil for good 10 minutes. So the pot of soup have been boiling for 10 minutes. Now I'm going to add in the melted obono. Now I'm not going to stir this. I'm just going to add this, you know, sparingly just like this. And then I'll make sure everything is even by flattening it out with my spoon. Then I will leave it and let it cook for good 15 minutes minimum. You can even take it up to 20 minutes because you want your obono soup to be delicious. And for you to get that delicious taste from, from your obono soup, you have to cook it really well. So I cook it between 15 to 20 minutes and you just see it start to bubble. At this point, you can stir. I stir in between and you know the first half and let it cook for the remaining half. And after the remaining half, you add in um, the pumpkin leaf or whatever vegetable you're using. Add it at that point and your bono soup is perfect. The taste of the smoked mackerel fish was coming through. The burnt dawa dawa, oh my God, guys. There is nothing I will say that can make that can do justice to this soup. Just try it out for yourself to know for yourself. Try it out. Come back to the comment section and let me know how it went. I want to read from you. If this is your first time here, you are welcome. My name is Ungozi. Please consider subscribing. Once you subscribe, there's a bell beside it. Hit that bell. That way you'll be the first to know anytime I upload a new video. And to my returning subscribers, oh my goodness, I missed you all. Thank you so much for sticking with me on this channel. Happy New Year. It shall be a blessed, prosperous year for us all. Joy, peace and laughter will never cease in our lives. And we are making money this year in Jesus' name. Can the church say amen? Amen. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. If you made it to the end of this video, give me a high five in the comment section below. Now, let me close by saying this. Do not cheat yourself out of an opportunity to have a yummy, delicious meal. <laughs> See you all in my next video. Bye.